Hello, this is Malcolm Rose. Have not actually played this game in a while. Um, it's been a couple months. I think the last time I played when I, um, shortly after I lost my streak was November, and today is January 16th, 2018. Um, so, as you may or may not have figured out by now, I schedule these videos. Um, and I just had quite a few which I've been scheduling daily for a few months um, because I just kind of binged the game for a while. So it's been quite some time since I've played. Uh, I have decided to start a new streak, maybe with some species and background combinations that are a little more difficult. A little more interesting than a bunch of centaurs and berserkers. Maybe I'll do a few still, I mean. I haven't really thought about it, but I have been craving to play this game again, so here I am. Um, now, I actually planned on checking out a new spell, um, the Vile Clutch, I think it's called, which has replaced Control Undead in the Necromancer spellbook. So I plan on playing a uh, Mummy Necromancer, and in, in true fashion, uh, as I have done before, I fat-fingered the keyboard and somehow <laughs> ended up with a uh, Draconian... Venom Mancer, as you can see. So, I'm gonna blow through this game real quick since uh, you know I don't I don't like to quit games, and we'll see where this takes us. Um, you know it shouldn't be too bad. Let's just let's train some poison magic. Let's see if I can remember how to play Dungeon Crawl. Actually, um, I haven't. Uh, the, the cool thing is I haven't actually I haven't actually won a Venom Mancer on this account. Um, if I do great player and greater player, it takes a second because that's it's going to pull it up in, in the database. But um, I have won a Draconian, but I haven't won a Venom, a Venom Mage, rather. I think I was calling it a Venom Mancer. Same thing, I guess. Not a big fan of the class. Um, I think it's a bit underpowered since you really don't, you really don't want... Um, Poison, you know. Seems like I remember all the hotkeys. That's good. I'm just gonna I'm gonna set my target to five for poison. Um, but yeah, poison magic doesn't really go high level. All right, I'm gonna take these. Um, take whatever comes comes at me to start with, and it looks like we've uh, we've got a goblin with a dagger first off. Um, okay, I've forgotten, I've forgotten that Sting doesn't have full range. Uh, I'm gonna take a step forward. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and Sting this to death. As usual, I want to see how much damage it can do. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a little rocky to start with because I've, it's probably really obvious already that I, it's been a while since I've played. So what I want to do is I want to look up daggers. Uh, yeah, four damage. So he can't, he can't one-shot me by any means. He does eight damage maximum, he can two-shot me. We've got lots and lots of sting, though. So he should die. Now he shouted, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, let's just move out of the way. And rest. Okay, good. There's a dagger on the floor, and he had a dagger. I'm going to grab the one on the floor. Thankfully it's not cursed, so we have a weapon now. Finding a, uh, finding an ooze or something would be rather annoying right now, as a Venom answer. So, I noticed that there's been a really big tile revamp. Um, I've been hanging out in the Discord lately. Uh, focusing more on on work and trying to make some money than this game, but I have been chatting with people in the in the Discord lately, and I've seen these tiles popping in with people talking about them, and uh, I like them. I like a lot of these new tiles, and I'm sure we'll see more. Another change that happened since I've played is that there's been a food revamp. Everything's a ration now. I think that's an excellent change, and I'm happy to see more of that. Oh, we've got a shouting kobold, and he's got a short sword of venom. 
Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Mm, I'm going to walk away from him. I was rather hoping he would throw stones at me. Let's just... Oh man, three stings and he doesn't die. He doesn't even get hit. We don't want to be hit by him. If he hits us, we very well might lose the game. Uh, however, if we get a hold of that sword, that's really cool. You know what I should have done? I should have made sure that this is a way around. Because it may not be, but it looks like it is. Oh man. Yeah, it is. So we're just gonna... I shouldn't have shot a sting at him as well just now. I should have waited until I had full mana. Alright, this is pretty bad. This is pretty scary. But we're going to have to fight him. Um, what we could do is we could run around looking for a bat, I suppose, um, to try to to try to block this guy. But that's kind of a Hail Mary. Let's see if we can't just get the kill. Oh, it's really bad. Um, Alright, I'm going to walk away. I'm gonna walk away until I'm full health and full mana. And then we're just gonna try to duke it out with them. This is a, a lot of stings to have failed. You know, they say that Venomancers have a very easy early game, but I beg to differ. Oh, and he gets the, <clears throat> he gets the random energy on me. Okay, we have 14 hit points. Okay, appears unharmed. Hits me, but does no damage. He's not hurt, so I might as well regenerate my mana again. He's getting random energy in the other direction. That's nice. Moderately wounded. We're poisoned. We're not dead poisoned, though. One hit point. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna just walk away. This is fine. As long as he doesn't get random energy. I mean, this is pretty horrible, I'm not going to lie, but, I mean, what, really, what can you do? The second enemy, the second enemy that you find, the second enemy that you find has a brand. It notices you, right? So you can't, you can't just kind of walk away from it. You've got to fight it. Because otherwise you're going to end up fighting more things at the same time, perhaps. You don't know what else is on the floor. So, I mean, this, this might not even be the most dangerous thing on D1. And then on top of that, all my stings don't work. Oh, man. He got the random energy, see? That's terrible. But I got lucky and he didn't poison me. He's getting a lot of random energy. Really shocking. I mean, there's an equal chance for him to get it uh, and survive. Or excuse me, get it and, uh, yeah, I'm not even... I'm misspeaking here because I'm uh, concentrating on juking this dude. What I'm saying is there's an equal chance for him to get it, to get the random energy in a good way, and to get it in a bad way, as far as I know. So he can either lose a turn or gain a turn. I don't know exactly, like, the code behind that, how that works. Um, but I know that the end result is that sometimes he moves when he shouldn't be able to, and sometimes he doesn't do anything when he should be doing stuff. which is really unfortunate for a situation like this. It also means that if I wanted to, I could just run away from this dude and go looking for, like, a downstairs or something. But, uh... You know. That's... That's a very luck-reliant plan. 
course, everything I do right now relies on a certain amount of luck. I don't know if he can one-shot me, but I... Yeah, he can. If he hits me for max damage, if he hits me for eight, and then gets the poison as well, pretty sure that kills me. Okay, we got the 14 hit points again. Now, I could walk around hoping for random energy again, but I think I'm just gonna hit him. Oh, man. Cobalt appears unharmed. It's no good. It's no good. Now, if we get real lucky, which I, I don't anticipate, but maybe, uh, if we get real lucky... We could get a few random energies and put some space in between us, more than that one little square. Um, we've gotten lucky here um, and put one square between us, but as you can see, he's occasionally picking up the pace, you know, and coming right back, so... Just trying to get my 14 hit points again. Alright, we're gonna fire. Yes! All right, well, that was uh, nerve-wracking. That was... All right, we're 11 minutes and 20 seconds into the game now. Uh, oh, my God. And it was a plus three short sword of venom. That's uh, that's cute, right? Um, it, it, honestly, I want to train short blades, even though short blades are bad. Just because that's such a good item. Um, plus three weapon, I mean, we will sail through this game. There's no need to even pretend to be a Venomancer for the time being. I mean, that is a powerful, powerful item. I shouldn't be auto-exploring. This character isn't like a powerhouse or anything on D1. Level 1. Hmm. Pick up this buckler. This is, you know what, this is okay. We'll just wait a turn here, wait a turn there, and then we'll take the teleporter if need be. Okay, we're going to do that. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just not taken such a risk and instead uh, pulled them into the hallway and fired some stings at them. There we go. We're level two. Now I don't I don't necessarily want to use just a dagger forever or anything, but this is just such a good weapon. That, like I, I'd probably rather use um, spells on this character, considering my intelligence. But I mean that I can't just ignore a brand like that that falls into my lap. I mean not not to say it was just. I shouldn't say falls into my lap. I mean, we had to work for it, for sure. Do a little auto explain. Whoa! Whoa! What is this? Oh, I'm being bamboozled. Thanks. I was I was all excited. I was like, "What is this D1 cornucopia? I didn't know this is possible." So that's another way you can tell I haven't played in a while. Getting bamboozled by a Zom Vault. All right, I used to pick up stones. I'm going to go back to doing that. I suppose I could do throwing on this character. Um, ranged is still my favorite thing in the game. Hmm. But yeah, that, that 15 intelligence start is hard to get away from. Uh, we should memorize poison vapors. That is actually an excellent spell. Okay, how fast is my weapon? 9.7 to 0 0.7, so it's 1. Hmm, I want it to be a little faster than 1, so... We'll just keep, keep that up. Training nothing but short blades for just a little while longer. Maybe until just 2. It's, it's almost nothing. Alright, so... What do we have here? Uh, nothing much left on D1. Let's proceed downwards. I see a rat.
There's that poisonous vapor. It's uh, a lot more reliable than sting. Okay. Um, adders can can kind of one shot me. I think even with my intelligence. Oh, he has spotted me. We'll just go into a different staircase. I could have probably killed him with poisonous vapors pretty easily. I mean that is the benefit to being a draconian. I'm going to just shout a bit on this staircase, and I'm going to go ahead and take away that exclusion. I keep hearing hisses, so... Yeah, dead rat. Hmm. He's hissing through the walls, basically. Um, he can hear me, but he can't find me for some reason. Oh, there he is. Well, got a little poisoned. I, I guess he can't. I guess I was probably too worried about getting one shot at. I mean, he can only do five damage. I, I don't think he can do another 15, 16, 17 damage on top of that with the poisoning in one shot, but that doesn't mean I want to duke it out with him. Couple of miscasts in a row, not good. I believe there's actually two adders. Um, let's see, still at one delay. I wanna wanna bring it down below one on those attacks, and then I'm gonna train poison vapors some more. Okay, this guy. This guy, we're just gonna swing on until he's dead. Actually, I'm gonna pull him up. Out a bit. Oh, oh no. Okay, <laughs> that was kind of bad. All right, I just need I need poison vapors to actually work, just like once, and those things will die. They're susceptible. You see. Let's get a ration. Let's kill this with a dagger. Now, now, could I fight those things in melee and win? The answer is probably. Okay, this dude can hit for 12 is why I brought him up. I mean, it's it's a plus 3 weapon. It's ludicrously good. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try one of these potions. Resistance. Alright, not bad. That's pretty good, actually. I hate these little blind corners because any, any time I make a little turn, there could be an adder next to me. It's not good. Shout a few times. And I suppose he could come through there. That wouldn't be good. Oh, he's too close. All these adders. Very, very concerning. On the other hand, I can... I could drink a resistance if I felt like it. That's, that's a thing I could do. Hey, here we go. Um, let's 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 get some air magic. Let's see how fast we attack. It's still one delay. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm not hearing any hisses. Pull this stuff over to the staircase. Training intelligence, this is going to be a caster. Perhaps an air mage, I don't know, we'll see what books we get, see what gods we get. See the meth cloud is available now. Could do that. I mean, meth, meth is good. And it's a fight resetter, so we're gonna go ahead and get it. Here we go. Oh no, he's next to me. I gotta go up, there was a second one, so... Do I want to swing? 
Or do I want to use the vapors? I think we want to use the vapors. He's poisoned. He was actually in gas for a turn, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to risk swinging on him. I miss. I miss. I miss. Wow, I can't hit him to save my life, literally. Well, I could have died there. Probably. I mean, certainly. Yeah, I think I actually made a mistake in terms of my skilling here. I shouldn't have put any experience into short blades, despite finding this thing. Oh, it's a short sword. I don't know why I thought it was a dagger. That's why it's not below one delay yet. Um, yeah, just kind of simple mistakes for not playing for a while. Anyway, yeah, um, Poisonous Vapors is so good so good that uh, it's just kind of silly for me not to train air. We can kill this. Okay, let's we'll back up a bit. Hit it with a third one. I mean, he's he's gone. All I gotta do is walk away. Okay, well, some somebody likes me because we have a nice selection of gods here. Uh, the world is my oyster now. The only question is, do I want to go Vehumet or do I want to go Sif Muna? Um, since this is a caster, I, I should, I sh really should go one of those as much as I'm tempted to go Rue. And I... Hmm... Probably going to want to God Swap at some point. And Sif Moon Wrath is pretty nasty. Let's see. Divination, miscasts, mana drain, cancellation. That's not so bad if you don't cast spells. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go Sifuna. Probably do a God Swap to Zen at some point, and just use attacks while we're working off the Wrath instead of spells. All right, we're worshiping Sifuna, and then we'll just um, just use Poison Vapors to win until Sifuna starts providing us with some good magic. We're going to train nothing but air for a while, because um, that's what is going to get Poisonous Vapors online. And, you know, and, and depending on what color I get as a Draconian, I, I may change my strategy up a bit. Perhaps I should be training Conjurations, you know. But nothing much matters in terms of what I'm skilling right now for the long term. For the short term, it matters. In the long term, this is like, it's it's not any amount of experience. Okay, it's the dreaded poison-resistant ooze. Let's walk backwards. Now, nothing we have does anything to this, except for the... Well, Sting can hit it, and my dagger can hit it, and it can get poisoned. It actually did get poisoned, but... Um, you know, as a resistant creature, it's a little harder to kill. Alright, I'm going to trade nothing but spell casting just, just for a little while. It counts as a Sif Muna thing. And uh, I'm getting to the point where the Poisonous Vapors is pretty respectable as far as castability goes. So yeah, really where we're going in this game just depends on, number one, what's Sif Muna going to give us? Number two, what's, uh, what's my Draconian color? Because if I get... You know, if I get, like, Black Draconian, then sure, I'll go air, no question, you know. Um, we're going to get our color probably before Sif Muna gives us a book. Sif Muna, unless things have been changed since I last played, is really notorious about not giving you a book very soon. Okay, 
very good. That's some good poison. Okay. Um, hmm. I suppose I'll pick up the sling bullet since I do have a hunting sling, which I might swap to at some point. I could see that being useful. Okay, we've got our first ghost. Shmish. Shmish's ghost. Ghosts have been changed, by the way. Um, I don't know if it's only in Trunk or in .21. I'm actually playing in .21 right now. But um, they all have the same speed, so no more centaur ghosts. You can walk away from any ghost if you want to, as long as you're not a naga. However, um, there's no way we are killing this thing <laughs> because ghosts turn me into poison. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to pull this guy up. Okay, well, or he can just do that. All right, well, hopefully this floor is not too ugly and it looks pretty ugly. It's looking pretty ugly. Um, let's see what all we can pull and kill before dying. Um, poisonous vapor surround the orc. Will the orc trade places with the rat? I'm not sure how much I mind if he does. This isn't so bad. I want to kill some of these orcs, if possible. You know, much as I was dogging on uh, Venom Mage, Olgrip's Toxic Radiance would be nice right now. Kind of forced to fight all this stuff. I mean, we're not forced to fight all of it, but... All right. we'll, we'll, we'll get like one orc. Alright, this is this is the part where I this is the part where I go away. There's just a lot of orcs. It's not a terrible place to fight stuff, but Okay, that that ghost could only do nine damage, so we're gonna open this up. I could I mean I could try to fight it, but Oh, whoa, whoa, he has a weapon of venom and I didn't notice. That was bad. I could have been I could have had a real, real problem there. Thankfully, I am okay. Right, let's try door number three. Thankfully, there's nothing next to me. Hmm. I got eight mana. That's four castings of uh, vapors. That's pretty good. little stab kill there. Whoa, what am I doing? I'm playing too fast. I took a move there that I, sh that I absolutely shouldn't have because we now have a an orc wizard to deal with. If he has confused, then that's very, 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 very bad for me. I could try to use Mav Cloud, but that's quite loud. Um, I think I'm going to poison vapor him and walk away. That might be enough to kill him. We got him once and then he blinked. I just, I don't want to be trapped in this hallway, confused, getting slammed by these orc warriors. Or not warriors, but regular orcs. And the wizard at the same time, if he were to say, blink behind me. This is not bad at all. Okay, I like that. I didn't notice if I felt more experienced or not which would indicate that the wizard is dead. Um, I don't see it anywhere, so I assume he's still alive. 
So War Axe. He dies. Hmm. Well, he's going to be poison resistant for the time being because he had a potion of resistance. So we're just going to walk away from him. Until that goes away. No reason not to, really. And he's no longer resistant. Let's go up. He's going to die very easily. Terence is usually not that much of a threat, so that's cool. Probably should have killed him with Vapors at range. You never know when one of these guys is going to have a have a wand. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it is a reality that you should be aware of. Oh, there's our friend. There's our friend that we have to walk away from. Okay, he's super poisoned. I don't want to get confused near this ghost. It's really ugly. Um, we got a double poison on the wizard, though, so he should be going down before too long. I'm trying to keep Shmesh in between me and the wizard so he can't confuse me. What's this? What's the nearest? This is the nearest staircase. Yeah, this is looking ugly. Okay, he blinked. He blinked away. He's not dead, but he did blink away. Let's see if I can't track him down and kill him. Eh. Let's, uh, let's get off this floor sooner than later. Not, not just yet, but... i tell you what I want to do. I want to go to a safe floor real quick. Uh, let's mm, let's put some distance between me and this dude. Don't want to fight him just yet if I can avoid it. Oh, there's there's our friend. Okay, go to a safe floor. We want to get some of these scrolls identified. Enchant armor. All right, I guess I'll use it on the buckler. Not really using that yet. I need my magic. Um, identify. That's what we were looking for. Um. I'm going to go with potions for now. We could use some consumables. Those are good consumables. Invisibility is nice. Heal wounds is better. For this stage of the game, in my opinion. Um, definitely, definitely helps out. Alright. Let's get on the staircase. Let's poison this thing a lot. Let's just kill him. Down he goes. Felt a lot more confident on a staircase, you know. A lot safer when you're dealing with the potential for being confused. I should have cast on him rather than waiting for him to come to me. Unfortunately, as a draconian, I cannot wear that robe. It's a shame it could be Arc Magi. Hey, it's Jessica. Jessica can slow me. And Jessica can use Pain and Haste. She's actually more of a danger than you would think. So we're going to get her with the... Poison. And walk away. And she'll die. Alright, cool. I thought I'd get a stab attack there, but apparently not. Fortunately, no chunks for me. Hey, there's a nice wand. I see that they've changed the way that wands display. Um, is it just telling me how many charges it has, or how many charges that have been used on it? What, what does that mean? Um, I guess I don't know. I guess I don't know. I could ask somebody in the Discord, I suppose. Um, hmm. I 
I'd like to train some evocations, but not too much. Would be nice for killing this ghost. Let's um let's see what's on the next floor. Although I don't I don't like leaving that ghost behind. I I pretty much have to. This guy we can probably kill. I mean I'm I'm just gonna have to use regular attacks. It works out fine. It's just a skeleton. Let's uh let's train some evocations just to like two get that disintegration wand doing something for us. But yeah, I don't want to leave that guy behind because at some point or another on this floor I may have to go up and then he might be waiting right next to the staircase and then I get hit for poison and it just sounds like a recipe for problems. 21% meth cloud. I really probably should be training my spells a little more at this point to get that meth cloud online. On the other hand, I could technically start using Radiance. I'll memorize it. Just in case, it's rather high fail rate right now. Hmm, we got some Pakel action. These slaves hit pretty hard for this level, that's, that's 10 damage. That's a particularly nice chunk. It's not too bad though, these guys are going to die of poison. Normally I'd rather kill Pakel first, but, you know, not always an option if you don't spot them in the right configuration. Alright, Whip of Freezing. Didn't get poisoned on the first one. Alright, he's quite sick now. He should die. Maybe. Do one more. Looks even sicker. Should I roll the dice? I don't want to go around like this because I might get unlucky and the slave, you know, finds me. Let's, um, yeah, he's gonna die. That's fine. Is up to whoa, we got a ton of experience from Pakel dying. Five point we went we went way past our training target of two to five point five. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna train conjurations now. Intelligence. Hey, black! Hmm. Alright, well. I'm an air mage. That's what I was hoping for. And in fact, uh, this is awesome because have really good breath. Now, let's, uh, surely he's not lightning resistant. But we're going to use this thing and see what happens. Oh, it's just the number of charges. All right. Um, okay. I'm curious what happens. I guess I don't need to identify wands of disintegration anymore. Or wands of anything. I'm just curious if recharging still exists. I'm gonna have to ask somebody about that. The wiki is, you know, not not terribly useful. Not sure if SQL, the uh, bot in the Discord and the IRC. I'm not sure if it would know, but I can check. It's the thing, it's the same thing that's hooked up to Beam. But yeah, this character is well on its way to well on its way to doing well. It always does feel like you get an enormous power boost when you get your color on a draconian. What did I just find? That's oh, the temple. Don't care about that. Uh, we may have found Robin. Yeah, we found Robin. Poisonous vapors, Hannah. Yeah, we're gonna walk away. It's actually quite dangerous to fight these things when they're mited. It doesn't seem like it would be, but it is. 
I tell you, I. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna train a little more poison. I mean, it's. Old Grebs is just too useful for when things go wrong. Well, that, that made a ton of noise and didn't do at all what I wanted it to do. There we go. The problem with Draconian Breath is, while it's totally awesome, it's also capable of being useless. Well, that's... It's not working very well. There we go. I've got him confused. I see that I cannot cloud on top of a cloud. I don't know how I forgot that. Um, poison him a couple times. He's gonna die to the poison. Walk backwards. Looks like this dagger goblin is not one with an ego on his weapon, so we'll just fight in this little choke hole, or choke point, and all the goblins are dead. Now, if, if I had used old grabs, assuming it was, you know, less fail rate, that would have been a trivial fight. It was kind of trivial already, but, um, you know, it's not bad. Got a book here, Book of Callings. Oh man, the game is being kind to me. Lightning Spire is an excellent, excellent spell, and I'm going to be an air mage, so um, looks like we are quite naturally going into summonings. I, I want to say it's also immune to poison, so I can all grabs as much as I want. I suppose I should check D4, see if there's anything... Nah, not really. Twenty-eight percent. Yeah, we'll just get old old grubs online, and then that'll be the that'll get the end of uh, that'll be the end of my training for poison. Hmm, I probably should memorize Summon Small Mammal as well, or Spammel, as they call it. Do I want to fight this centaur? It doesn't sound like that fun of a time, but I think I'll be fine. I'll just poison him. Walk backwards. Now he's going to be here, and I'm just going to attack him. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, there, good. Now, as far as this jelly goes, uh, I'm gonna go up and rest and then come back down and then we'll fight him. Let's walk backwards. There could be priests here. Shadow Imp. Mm. Resistant to poison. Yeah, just fight him. Although, with such a good spell as uh, Lightning Spire, I should probably just be going straight for that. Now he is hooting quite a lot. Okay, Poison Magic at 5. Take Summonings to 5 as well. Um, I see that Old Grubs is yellow, and I'm happy with that. So, um, let's just... Readjust it to O, and then if I really if I really need to use it for some reason, I get surrounded by a bunch of crap, and it's just terribly useful. Um, then I'll do it, you know. But otherwise, it's fine. But yeah, what I really want right now is Lightning Spire. Woo! That is Menkare. That is very scary. Um, we could disintegrate him, and he will die. Uh, I don't know if I want to waste that. Is he slow? I think he's slow. Yeah, he's slow. Holy, what? He can hit for up to 25 damage? I did not know he was such a 
tank. Such a such a truck. He uh he's no joke. Alright, well that's fine. We'll he can haste himself. Um hmm. let's just bail on him for now. He's slow, he's not hasted. Let's just leave. Uh, I have a few things I'd like to identify, which I didn't realize that I had. Identify scrolls. So let's use those real fast. Um, potions, you know. Uh, I'm going to do a couple scrolls. I'm looking for... Oh, blinking, that's nice. Um, what I'm looking for, really, is... Um, remove curse. Because then I can try these rings on. Alright. Kari blazes with dark energy. That's fine. We're going to kill him instantly with disintegration. Wasn't too worried about him with my wand list there. And an amulet. Hmm. Now these guys are, in fact, resistant to poison. Um, and he is, he is doing some dirty things to me. Um... <laughs> well, that's one way to kill it. Kind of auto-explore a bit here. And that's the floor. Oh uh, yeah, it's one of those mock lab zen combos. Very flavorful with the uh, Executioner and the Angel. Alright. Scroll of Identify. I'm tempted to try on the amulet, or to identify the amulet, rather. Why don't we just, why don't we do that, find out what it is, in accuracy. I like to identify amulets because it might be harm, and harm is terrible. Our skeleton seems to have gotten some tile, some new tile love. Identify again on a scroll. Random uselessness, what a shame. Electrocution, hello. Now there, there's a weapon. Now here we go, this is a good situation for all grabs. Use it a couple times. And these, these guys should all be pretty much going down. Um, I'm going to walk away from these things now as the toxicity is, you know, I, I had a little effect here that's gone now um, that meant that those guys were all getting poisoned as long as they were in my line of sight. Um, but they, I left them with enough poison that they weren't about to survive. So, pretty easy to kill big packs of things with old grubs early on. Let's, uh, Let's see what what this whip is. It's only plus zero, but it's still electrocution, so just keep that on hand. Whoa, that's not good at all. Polymorph, huh? And I can't cast in this form, but I can use disintegration. No, I can't. Mmm. Mmm. Not good. I guess I'll just wait for him. I mean, I should be able to just kill him, you know. Assuming he doesn't kill me first. See, I can't move. Oh, great. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, wait, this is good. I actually, I can move now that he's invisible. Because <laughs> my guy doesn't know he's there. Uh, when you're a fungus, you're too scared to move. As long as somebody doesn't see you, as long as they don't see you, uh, you know, like stealth worked, or if, if stealth worked or they uh, are invisible, you can't see them. What am I doing? I need to be old grabsing. There we go. So that was kind of ugly. Could have been a lot worse if you had a different wand. Could have been very ugly though with, with me being trapped there and the uh, priest coming up. 
but I should have, um, I was playing too fast. I should have immediately cast all grabs. Um, well, no, no, I think he, I think he polymorphed me before I had a chance to do anything. But all grabs is nice because it keeps doing stuff, you know. After it's been cast. Yeah, this is a great place for all grabs. There's just too much stuff here. Long sort of pain. Interesting. Okay, let's um let's walk backwards. Let's walk backwards and watch this stuff hopefully die. Um Yeah, I think it's time for a lightning spire. Boom. It's dead. Lightning spire definitely earning its uh, keep there. I'll just go straight into air training and enjoy that plus two aptitude. I might as well see what's going on with this long sword of pain. It's plus one. Doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I'm not. I'm not using necromancy this run. So it's been relatively smooth, other than that D1 kobold, which was quite ugly. points of AC as well because I had a couple of enchant armors on hand. And we have remove curse, so it's time to try on these rings. I had poison resistance and pro cold. Both both good to have. We can fight this guy. We'll just make a lightning spire real quick. Poison him. Immune to electricity and poison, just like I thought, so I can, you know, I can spam that thing. Whoa, 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 whoa! Fencer's gloves. Now, that's not something you see every day. It's pretty cool. Um, I might end up training long blades on account of finding this. Just because it'll double up on my reposts. But we're certainly going to wear it. No real reason not to, unless I find something else, you know. And that kind of is quite promising for what I'm going to do after Sif Muna during the uh, awkward phase when I'm dealing with God Wrath. I would like to see some air magic other than uh, Lightning Spire, you know. If I could get Lightning Bolt, that would be pretty cool right now. <laughs> but do I need it really with Spire just erasing my enemies? I mean, it's kind of doing all my jobs for me here. See how Spire just kind of erased that big group of enemies. I mean, it's 
a very good spell. Not really much more I can say about it, and it remains awesome pretty much all the way through the whole end of the game, because unlike most things, or maybe maybe unlike anything, uh, you, you can place it in the exact square that you want it to be in. So it does an excellent job of letting you reset fights that you otherwise might have a problem resetting. Okay, uh, nothing much on this floor. Hmm, that's Joseph. Joseph only has a quarter staff and a uh, sling, if I remember correctly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to meth cloud him. Mm, we're gonna fail. We're gonna make a lightning spire. And what is meth cloud in that direction? And it's just gonna straight up fail to <laughs> to uh, to hit his square. Let's try this. Well, that doesn't work. All right, we're out of mana. Um, by the way, what am I doing? I need divine energy. We're gonna turn that on. Get on this nice staircase. Got a staff here. Fingers crossed for a staff of air, or um, I'd take staff of conjurations too. Staff of wizardry, perhaps. Don't really need that. Staff of power. Hey, staff of power. That's uh, that's a good find. Fortunately, cannot wear that artifact there. The uh, scale mail or whatever that is. Hmm, now this is where you like to have some uh, Toxic Radiance action. Because these things die quite quickly to it and don't ruin my game. Finding this big pile of killer bees um, on another character probably would have necessitated some sort of uh, resource usage. I assume that if I wasn't uh, a character with all grabs, I probably would have ended up using invisibility right there, but very trivial on this character. Okay, we got a ghost. Um, ghost that does a ton of damage. 26. It looks like I found a great sword as well. Just generic, no brand. Well, let's get on out of here. Um, let's make a lightning spire, actually. Is he resistant to electricity, or is he just a boss? Oh, there we go. What is he, a hill orc of Biog? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to let my my staff do the... Or my uh, spire do the work here. Breath didn't really work. Yeah, the totally unnamed draconian, black draconian breath can really get obnoxious sometimes. I mean, it's... Don't get me wrong, it's very powerful. It just... It's not the most reliable thing in the world. Okay, um... Let's 
Spire to block Sling Bullets. All grabs so we can damage him from behind, and then we're just going to damage him more with Poison Vapor. Another all grabs, and he should be getting sick extremely quickly. Poison Vapor again. This uh, Staff of Power makes this almost trivial. Nice. Down he goes. A lot of mana in that Staff of Power. F 15's a pretty nice... You know... Pretty nice boost. Let's put on electricity for fighting things like that. myself um, fly here and once I once I get my big wings which black black draconians get I'm gonna fly in there and see what's going on I'm also going to go ahead and identify some more potions curing good to have try on this ring dexterity uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't need that um, just past an hour on this video but we're getting close enough that I'm gonna stop when I reach lair here we go. All grabs is always good here. And then I can meth cloud. I'm, uh, you know, I'm poison resistant, so it's almost like why not, right? And down he goes. Pretty cool, right? Lightning Spire can take care of these wargs for me. Perhaps that priest as well. The problem is wargs are uh, poison resistant. So I'm going to have to use electricity to take him down. Man, that is just a great combo. I mean, really, there's, there's nothing in the early game that, or perhaps, you know, in almost all the game, that uh, can deal with poison and electricity. This is interesting. I think it won't let me use poison vapors unless uh, something is in the square and I can see it. May have forgotten how that works. Um, well, this is not good. We need to reset this fight. Well, that's that's one way to get rid of my lightning spire. I forget exactly how much damage these things can do, but I, I know it's a lot. I will check here in a minute. I'm, I'm going to assume enough to one-shot me. That was rather inexpertly done. That, that whole fight. shouldn't be auto exploring because then this happens all right gotta do some math because i've forgotten 
Two giant clubs plus 35 damage. So 40 plus 35 is in fact 75. Right? 5, 6, 7, yeah, 75. So he can kill me. Which means I should not have been auto exploring. This is really goofy because, um, I'll tell you why this is stupid. Um, I'm going to end up using a scroll of blinking just to be sure that I won't die, but I'll tell you why it's stupid. I could have just, I could have just meth clouded him from the start. So I just wasted my best consumable just to guarantee that he doesn't kill me on one shot. So that's, um, that's 100% on me. Bad, bad play. I should be thankful that I didn't get hit auto-exploring into him. It is a real shame that you, you know, you can get one-shotted by those things on so many characters at this stage in the game. I just think they do a little too much damage, or, um, I, I don't know, it's, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the solution would be. I don't like the fact that they can one-shot you on most characters. Okay, we found a box of beasts. That's uh, that's a pretty good find. And we have found the lair, which means I'm going to cut this video short. We're uh, a little bit over an hour anyway, which I believe is what I usually aim for. Um, decent comeback so far. Um, I'm enjoying it. Early game was a little bit messy with that uh, cobalt, but I feel like I handled it as best I could. We lived, so, you know. At least, uh, I, uh, if I didn't play right, I at least got lucky, so. Anyway, uh, this is gonna be essentially an air elementalist. Um, I should probably train some defenses going forward. I mean, we don't know what Sif Moon is gonna give me. But I, I can handle everything in Lair just with Lightning Spire alone, so. Really what I should be training is, is dodging and fighting. If I had trained a little more fighting, I would not have been able to get one shot by that two-headed ogre. So, you know, just six more, well, five, five more hit points, and I would have been fine. So, yeah, we're doing great on attack. We'll train up a little bit of defense now. Um, maybe I'll even, maybe I'll even wear the buckler. We'll see. It is an extra defense. We'll set it to four couldn't hurt really. I mean it's gonna be a plus one buckler because I enchanted it. Uh, kind of hurts my toxic radiance right now but just, just that extra defense is nice even if it is tiny. Yeah we'll, 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 we'll keep it equipped. Doesn't really hurt that much and it'll I'll have four skill in no time and then it'll only help and not hurt at all. Um, so yeah, next time we go into lair, uh, maybe clear out dungeon or, you know, the usual, the usual hyper-elliptic, uh, hyper-elliptic strategy. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. This is roughly what I try to do. Not, not, uh, not quite. Sometimes I'll do dungeon, like all of dungeon first, but depends on the character. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'm signing off.